Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's stream. We're actually so close to the end of A Realm Reborn, it's so surprising. Uh, <laughs> I checked it yesterday, I'm like, yeah, what's the MSQ on this Realm Reborn stuff? And uh, apparently, uh, from level 46 till uh, level 50, like the, the so-called end of A Realm Reborn, it's quite fast. Um, if we exclude a lot of cinematics, uh, like I said, I've, I've played through Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward, uh, with the exception of the post Heaven Ward stuff. So I'm very excited to actually get closer and closer to that. It's going to be great. Um, so yeah, FC, let's say what let's say in the FC. Well, we've been growing exp exponentially. The FC um, tonight. I say tonight, but in in about 14 hours. So if you're watching this on stream right now, in 14 hours we'll have an event, uh, we'll meet up, uh, we decide on what to do, we have a, lo a large list, actually an ever-growing list of things we are able to do together, and we decide then on, on, on the way forward. Uh, I have a game on the PS5, there's a good remote screen, not supportable. So, very true. Very true. Uh, anyway. Um live now so talk to you later but there you go and for now let's just get going i want to get started I, I i'm somewhat i don't know how i'll <laughs> how i'll handle the dungeons but we'll see uh i love that we have the storm's eyes so we could go overpowered mithril tempest heavy swing maim storm's eye to get that 60 percent I'll just see how things will go, isn't it? Uh, let's get a bit more out of that. Where is... There's the guy. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, what I also need to do is get retainers. Now, I have, haven't had the need for them because I've not started gathering or I've not started crafting. Um, but... I think we do want to get that started. At least get everything up to, like, level 20. Uh, and, and, and that's about it. So here we go. We uh, we will get ourselves uh, a pot helmet and a short rope. Uh, you are called Unedozin, yes. I've heard of your plight from my friend. As a fellow adventurer and son of Eosia both, I would offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate Custom Sentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourself as Imperial soldiers. The question is how do you go about acquiring the uniforms and helmets? There are places a man might purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort to whom you would entrust your secrets, and that is so true. It would be more prudent, I believe, to uh, procure what you need via traditional means from the body of the recently deceased owners. The fortified area beyond Castrum Sentry never lacks for Imperial patrols. It ought not to have long to obtain three sets of gear, one for each member of the infiltration team. Biggs, Wedge, and... Okay, why is Biggs and Wedge coming to join us? I don't get that. Like, they haven't seen the other Scions, right? They don't know where they are. But okay, that is probably on me. That's fine. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spoils. Why, why do you both know so much? It's weird, right? Well, what do we have here? Simple to die for. Interesting. Let's let's go do that blue quest as well. Is that the only one I can do? It wasn't there like when I ended yesterday. Let's talk to him. We get some dice. Ah, well, if it isn't Une, just the adventure I was hoping to see. Do you know of the blacksmith? Eginolf. He's quite an accomplished craftsman. In fact, anyone who had dealings with Rowena is sure to have come across his creations. 
It's always been a pleasure to have him as a regular here at the Seventh Heaven. I love that name, actually. But he's been quite irritable of late. And particularly drowning in his cups beside. I fear his recent work, or perhaps the lack therefore, may have something to do with it. This may seem but a bit trifling, uh, may seem but a trifling matter, of trifling matter, in someone as traveled as yourself, but it would mean so much to me if you would speak to them. I can think of no one better to offer him a word or free of encouragement. Alright. Uh, if the chair wasn't in the way. Where is the guy? It's all the way up there. Interesting. Let's go check it out. I still, I, yeah, like I said, I have no need for retainers just yet. That can go. Also, my phone is on. Um, you know, it is what it is. I might get some call. I might get an email that I need to reply on. Anyways, here we go. What's your problem, mate? Can't you see I'm thinking less? Off with you. Hmm. Alessandra did see. And I suppose you just happened to mention me contact with Rowena. I thought she'd be satisfied with me vintage gear. There was a time it particularly flew of the shells, bringing in adventurers with tombstones by the bucket. Tombstones? But no. Your damn divas are a flick -a lot. And apparently none of you will, um, none of y'all will be caught dead in me stuff no more. Now, I've got Rowena's jumping down me throat, clamoring for, uh, for somewhat new, somewhat the realm ain't there foreseen. The woman expects too bloody much, I tell you. But if I don't feel me contract, she'll have... Talks fitting me. F wow, what? She'll have talks fitting me feet for lead boots. Wait, wait, she, she, will, she will drown you? What the hell, dude? I don't know what kind of contract you make there in yours, yeah, but it does not sound healthy. If only I pissed out bright ideas each, each dawn like I did me ill. Hold your horse, birds. I. Uh, I know you're from somewhere. You're one of them adventurers what started the bloody relic armor movement way back when, aren't you? As I'm... Wait, wait, the relic armor movement? What is, what is he talking about? Try as I might. And holy hells did I try. I wasn't quite able to create their masterwork. There was somewhat about him, a particular quality even the great Eginoff weren't going to match. I suppose one never truly can rival the classics, eh? Ah, Alice, yes, slew. You sly screw. That's why she sent this one. You wanted her to. You wanted her to remind me of the old days when armor craft was about armor. And nothing else. Somewhere along the way, I reckon I got caught up with the hurly burly and lost me way. You know, I reckon it's high time I got back to basics. Focus more on who'll be wearing me gear than the pretty tail on that uh, moquette selling me the parts. Might be when I can come up with a somewhat might be then I can come up with somewhat that will satisfy it all for Rena. Cheers lass it was kind of you to stop by and know her and and while you're here how about I fix you up uh, how about I fix you up your own set of relic gear wait there's relic gear? I thought there was only weapons my assistant Kickerlin can get augmented each and every piece. But he's his assist, so he's the boss. So these are f okay. 
Cause that's something you can bring him the proper pot. Cause that's assuming you can bring him the proper part. I ain't running a charity. Don't go for uh, forgetting your gear either. Okay, so you may now trade with Kalan after obtaining the appropriate augmented item. You can exchange it along with artifact armor for augmented armor or uh, augmented artifact armor, which, unlike regular relic armor, can be dyed in any color of your choice. Please note that the augmented item required will vary depending on the artif uh, artifact armor you wish to exchange. Oh, red. So, okay, let's, let's. so this is vintage and this is uh, equipment. Okay, so if I get a gallant uh, cornet, I can exchange that together with a gallant armor augment. So this is for a warrior. It's not better than I'm having right now. Can we please get some gear on? Ah, uh, okay. Can we just go with like so? I have that. Why would I? I don't see the reason. Where do I get these? Where do we get these armor augmentations? How about equipment vintage? Alright, uh, this is easy stuff. Oh. So I get the item from here. Like that is. Let's go with Warrior Marauder. And then I can exchange that item. Oh, uh, but I do need that one piece. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> Got no clue, but, but it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, with that done, uh, let's summon uh, Faithful Steeds, our Chocobo uh, companion. Level 7, nice. Uh, healing magic potency by 30%. Love that. Oh. Now, there's another thing that I, sh I will start doing. Um, I'm not sure how I'll put it in, but um, I want to start doing the dailies on the other classes. And I will most likely start doing them off stream. With, of course, the exception that I will not do storyline quests uh, or class quests. When I I'm not streaming because, you know, that there's no fun with that. So it is very, very possible that in the future you just see me do storyline quests or class quests. And then switch to another class and just do, do the same thing again. So we'll have a bit of a, a, a way forward with some of the classes. Um, and you won't see too much of it it's possible there's a lot of classes and i want to try a lot of them um or i just stream it I, I, i'm not sure yet i'm not sure if, if if i would ask you like would you be willing to see it then everyone is like yeah end gear stuff sure uh what you doing right now mm, you know and i get it i get it how many can i pull I don't know. We'll just pull a few. Right, there's, there's a mage, which I don't like. Okay, now we start with the regular one. So we have our chocobo. And now we can do the maim. Or oh, that new skill. That's 50... Two seconds. 
And now we can do the healing. Man, this is so easy. I love that. And 31 seconds remaining on the clock. Even though that mage is trying to do whatever he's doing. Yeah, I can definitely imagine just doing a lot of pulling with this class. Okay, Imperial Soldier Uniforms. We got one of three. I'll just pull a lot of them, that's fine. We pulled the entire... I could have pulled the entire area. I'm sure of that. Okay, let's start making sure everyone's on me. I didn't need to mean to do that, but oh well, I did. I might need to get rid of that skill. I, I don't see how useful it is. And I'm fucking on my rotation already. Right, um, this skill, Steel Cyclone, I am not sure I'll use it. Like, the potency is nice, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, it will be fine. I, I think we'll get a lot more skills. Uh, anyways, let us return to... Here. I also want to buy some rings. Uh, I, I, my, the rings that I'm having are quite horrible. Uh, we all know this. And yeah. Were you able to obtain three sets of the Imperial equipment? Send over. Damaged. As I had suspe uh, suspected. In their present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms I uh, like to draw suspicion. They must be repaired, if only superficial. Unfortunate, unfortunately, the blacksmith Ego North at the Diamond Forge in Ren's House of Splendors should be able to hammer them into shape in no time. I've already sent word ahead. Uh, he knew, okay, fine. And have been assured that he's expecting you. Worry not. We've already... Uh, we have already impressed upon him the need for utmost secrecy as to the nature of your mission. Alright, let's go. Uh, we know where he is because we actually met him already. There you go. Now he speaks funny, hmm. So you're the adventurer, uh, Sark sent, are you? I've been waiting for you, now let's see what you got for me. I see, ah yes. I reckon I can hammer these back into shape for you. After all, I owe your friend Star, uh, Sark a favor or two. Look, uh, took good care of um, old Eginov back in the day before I fell in with old uh, Rowena. He did. Did you know he's the son of one of the wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the life he did. But I suppose he, was, he always felt adventuring life calling for him. But here I go blabbing on when and uh, when when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse bird for a moment or two and the great Aggie Aggi Nolf will have your gear looking good as new. The great Aggie Nolf. And uh, let's see and there we have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind you, but from what I hear, that's not your priority anyhow. 
Do send Sark my regards, will you? I don't get why most of the characters always say like the first and the surname. Have you ever talked in a conversation with someone constantly saying the first and the surname? Because I haven't and I will most likely never do. But that's just me. Like I don't know how things go with the other one. So what is Gelding Star over here? What do we need? I'm thinking... We need a Disciple of the Land or Hand level 50. Interesting. Have you had the uniforms and helms repaired? Yes. These will serve beautifully. The great Eglinov never fails to impress. The quality of these repairs would fool even a Legatus. Thus equipped, you should not have any trouble blending in amongst Imperial forces, lest you fear that the Galleons might detect your foreigners. Foreigners in fact form the greater part of the Galleon invasion force in Eorzea. You see, when the Empire subjugated new or subjugates new territory, it assimilates the people of the land into its armed forces. In turn, these conscripted forces are sent to subjugate uh, faraway lands. In this way, Galgamond nips rebellion in the butt and expands its, its that territory in one fell stroke. Because of, of course the entire army of that land is fighting in another land. And his trusted, loyal army is just making sure that everyone falls in line. It actually makes a lot of sense. With that, my part of uh, in your mission is done. I'm full glad to have been of assistance in your cause. Why would I? A wealthy merchant wish to help you? I know not where you heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but another humble adventurer. One who desires only to act in the best interests of the realm. Alright then, let's talk to him. And fool me twice. Good work getting them Imperial Dots. You'll be pleased to hear I ain't been idle myself. It took me a long enough, but I finally hatched a plan to get us in get us a suit of Magitek armor. Now, from what I've seen. Castrum Sentry deploys a Reaper for most of its patrol. Trouble is, the patrols themselves are in regular, meaning random routes and random deployments. And hardly any of them come anywhere near Reverend Straw. So, hoping to hoax the Imperials out of their shell, I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of old-fashioned false intelligence. Told them insurgents had design uh, had a design on their strongholds. Oh yeah, of course. I would definitely want to get those back. Faint, uh, it ain't far from the truth. Now I come to think of it, and wrote, we should start seeing more patrols than we have up till now. What you need to do is approach one of them patrols, dress up in your shiny tin suit, and alert him of the enemy's presence. Having done that, you want to lure them as near to Revan's Tall as you can. Like as not though, they'll be wary of adventurers of, of venturing far from their own walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use this smoke signal here. Fletched fresh from an Imperial Scout, they'll come running when they see that. And when the cavalry arrives, you hit them hard and make off with the reaper. Simple as that. If it ain't, uh, if I ain't mistaken, there's a patrol sweeping the perimeter right now. So run along and don't forget to salute. Alright. Let's get emotions, imperial salute, and we'll just drop you over there. Go. A 
Let's get this mission started. Uh, oh. That's equip the gear. You know, it would be bad if we weren't using it. Also, we need to uh, turn this stuff in. I also don't want to be fighting in this gear. So, whatever happens, we won't be fighting in the gear. Hoping none of those damn frogs will actually catch me, but that's fine. We'll see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's mean, Froggo. Yeah, they probably react on sight. Or sound. Yeah, one of the, It's si sight or sound, one or the other. From what I understand. There's the patrol. Oh no. Oh well. Let's see if we can actually do something in this gear. Huh? So far it's not too bad. having their magic vulnerability up. Uh, he died. Right. Oh, I think we need to... For, from another patrol you are. When next you see a commanding officer, tell him that he leads a sloppy unit. If any of my lot forgot to salute a superior officer, they would be on their ass faster than you can say uh, ladder in duty. Carry on, soldier. Hmm. Insurgents gathering to the east, you say? Judging by a description, they are well beyond the perimeter. But I will not have it said that I was remiss. You, return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should odd, uh, should odd go er uh, airy, use your smoke signal to call us. You're joking. Hey, let's just run. Let's go. Till these are gone. Hopefully. How far do we need to go? Actually, not that far. Still. It's faster like this. Let's just go. We need to be wait we need to be up there okay sure why not I think we should be able to get back into gear. I hope you won't mind my joining. Seeing as we... Uh, since we're seizing advanced weaponry, I thought it best to be on hand. Makes sense. Ah, there she is. This is the place, but where is the enemy? Sir, over there! Send in the Reaper. Let us make an example of these insurgents. I'm hoping it didn't black out the second I do that. Okay, let's go like this. Ah, too late. Oh well. Wait, they ex immediately attack me. I'm 
blind. That, that's kind of annoying. first That was easy Last, our very own suit of Magitek armor. Hmm. Not wish, uh, not wishing to look a gift to Chocobo in the beak. It does seem rather worse for wear, doesn't it? Biggs, Wedge, what's your honest assessment? Oh, it's effed. <laughs> well, there's a fact that she's smoking, of course. But looking past that, I'd say she was structurally found. She was structurally sound. Hmm. I don't like the way that the legs are buckled. I hate to say it, but the servo mechanism may be damaged. Hmm. But those... Um, but aren't those things protected by ilm thick armor plate? They are, yes. It's odd. The casting doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well, whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not resting till it's fixed. Not one wink of sleep. You get that, Wedge? I heard that. <laughs> ah. A hole has been set aside for us to use in Reverend Tall. That's where I'll carry out the repairs. Look for us down. Can I get out of this ridiculous gear? Okay. That's one way to throw a Lollafell, I guess. Uh, we'll get a level 45 weapon coffer. That makes no sense. We have a better weapon already. <laughs> Half full. Yeah, we definitely want to start turning in that stuff to get seals. Leveling up um, to uh, a captain or an actual lieutenant would be the goal uh, as well to get the squadrons. You know, it's best to get started with them soon. They will cost you seals. You need to level them up. I think to like level 50 or so. And then, uh, I, I don't think you'll ever use them again. A Magitek armor. Set and the others took it inside. Go on and go on in and join them. Onwards to Sid's workshop. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Our preliminary diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her servo mechanism is faulty. You needn't worry though, Biggs and Wedge will see her restored in a former glory in no time at all. Given those two something to mend and they will be thinking of nothing else till the job's done. It is a marvelous thing to behold. 
Providing you remind them to visit the privy. Uh, now what we could do is we could keep this for either our uh, ninja or for the white mage. I think we all do that. I think we'll definitely want to keep this. So, sit. What do you got for me, sit? Every little thing she does is magic attack. The repairs are proceeding apace. It shouldn't be long now before Biggs and Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the machina servo mechanism was discovered to be faulty. Wedge has subsequently asserted that the Magitek core which drives it is worse beyond use, worn beyond use. Such cores are rather fragile devices which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to the neglig uh, negligence of our Imperial colleagues, however, the one used in the Reaper was long overdue. And as we do not have access to a ready replace here in Mordona, but all is not lost. Which things he may have identified an alternative, uh, alternative solution. Go and see him, would you? He'll explain the detail to you. As I believe the chief has already informed you the Magitek core is worn beyond use. I'll need to find a replacement. I thought about having you uh, appropriate more Reapers, but even if the Dunder Head Maintenance Engineers of Castrum Sentry had reminded to replace their cores, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there is a solution. To, to substitute the Magitek core with a Mammoth Heart. A Mammoth Heart. In case you don't know, a Mammoth Heart can be used to grant uh, sentience to a automation. By my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the armor servo mechanism. We'll just need to make some minor modifications to the housing, uh, the, the housing unit. I've already placed an order for a first-rate uh, Mammoth Heart with the Goldsmith Guild. All that remains is for someone to go to Ulda and collect it. Oh, and to pay for it. Um, did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, they typically cost something in the order of, um, I, I hope. I don't mind fooding the bill. It's for a good cause. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Let's go to Ulda. I'll probably place that coffer in my chocobo. Just to be cer uh, certain that I don't, you know, kind of sell it. As well as the red die. Can we do that like this? Okay, it is a different die. Well, oh well. Uh, we need to go to the Goldsmiths Guild. The teleportation system is absolutely brilliant. I kind of want to start doing the, the, you know, the the gathering and the crafting, but. Hello there, come to collect a mammoth heart, you say? When you... Then you must be here on behalf of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of picking the finest example we have. A heart fit for a prince among mammoths. Payment? Oh, that won't be necessary. The heart is for Master Alfinot's personal use, after all. How does he know it? He notified us a short while ago that his servant would be coming to collect it. Tendering years though he may be, Master Alphanot has been a benefactor of ours since my predecessor's time. The Goldsmith's Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here is the mem uh, but here is the Mammoth Heart. May it serve you well. Oh, and please do pass on my compliments to your master. 
How nice. Is there anything else that I'm... Like, would be able to do? This honor before death? Taking the red. This honor before death. Let's check that out. It could be a class... Could also be, I don't know, like a dungeon or whatever. Uh, let's check it out. What it is. Oh. Well, it is a dungeon, that's for sure. This is an annoying one. Um. Yeah, that's an annoying one. We'll do it. But I'm... Um, yeah, we'll do it. Time heals all wounds. Or so, uh, or so say those who have never experienced true pain. More than 30 summers have passed since I carried the standard of the Dark Light Raiders into Curtis Cry. But not a day goes by that I don't see the faces of the friends I lost that fateful day. Uh, Gerbold the Rat and his loyal second, Arborist Stillwater, Simon the Sweet, always armed with a jab and jest, are ever ireful mage uh, Sharon Zebron, as quick to cast as he would do temper, uh, as, uh, as he was to temper, uh, Tromun Thousand Gill, Never was there lived, uh, never has there lived a man with a tighter grip to be on his sword or his coin. And let us not forget one Ilm Ilson. Though it's hard to phantom now, what with all the adventurers uh, scramping about like rabbits in the spring, there was once a time where bands of mercenaries were who, uh, were who the city-states turned to when in need of a blade. The Darklight Raiders, been the biggest and best of them bands, his guardian, wait, of his guardian? Okay. Founded uh, forays into Hell's Pit. Founded forays into Hell's Pits? Like Iron Veil. Would earn us a king's ransom in a matter of days. Drew, though it would only take a night of devil's play at the mirage to see it gone from our purse. But so was the life of a raider. That is, until we took that job at Cutter's Cry. My brothers and I stood against herds of giant buffaloes. On Ogromo, stumbled in fact, uh, stum, snurble, wow, snurble infestations on the pearl, legions of cold blooded chagrin from the abyssal depths of the indigo deep. But none of that prepared us for the horrors we faced in hell, uh, hell's blood, hell's brute halls. None of it prepared us for the Chimera. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, I think that's the end boss. That is a nasty, that is absolutely a nasty, nasty boss. The bards still sing of the day. Seven of the realm's finest warriors set off to the bowels of that forsaken place, but only saw one return. And that is him, Seabold, the, sto the Stoic. Spared by the beast so that he may warn all others who would be foolish enough to attempt to despoil the Kramer's lair. Ah, my apologies. You did not come here to hear a guilt-ridden ramblin' of an old man. But, if you have a moment, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. The final wish of an ailing soul seeking peace with the past before departing on his journey through the seven gates. In each 
of the 30 summers since escaping from the maws of that terrible beast, I have returned to its lair to pay the proper respect to my fallen comp uh, compatriots. However, the years have finally caught up with old Sibrold, and try as I might, no longer can these bones make that trek alone. If it's not too much to ask, would you travel to Cutter's Cry in my stead and place this boutique, a bouquet of flowers upon the resting place of the Dark Light Raiders? Hell yeah, what, what do you have? Gone to pieces? Disciple of the Hand, uh, which get desynced. Interesting. Desynced is quite nice. Uh, you can break stuff into materials. And sometimes the materials are more worth than the items they're in. So, yeah. Anything else? Taking the red is for, I think, like the red mage. Don't see anything over here. We could do a quick scout. Like through the city. There's only like three areas. Let's go to the alchemist guild. Quickly check the map. See if there's anything. Want to be an alchemist? That's a no. Plaza. It's the uh, Tromology. Way of the Samurai. And we actually will be going here. I, I, I don't like the Chimera. I think it is absolutely nasty. Uh, there is this mechanic. Um, it's either like purple or blue and, and one you need to sh go away from the boss and the other one you need to um, I think like run away from an attack uh, Like I said, it's been a while Let's go It's been a while since I've been here actually There it is Infested with spiders. I have this skill, which will be handy. Of course, not that one. Arms length. And I'm still wearing that stuff as armor. Let's talk to this guy. This is Cutter, uh, Cutter's Cry, a labyrinth of sand-ridden caves. And you hear that? That sounds like the woofling snort when a fire catches. That's the Chimera. Not that I've seen it. Sure, go right on in if you're that certain of your abilities to make it out in one piece. Just don't expect me to go frothing in uh, there after you. No matter how hard you wail and holler. You, ah, uh, you promised Alterbrook the stoic, did you? He's what's called a man of principle. He is. A little too much principle, I'd say. What's wrong with wanting to live when, you've a, uh, when you have a wife uh, uh, at home? Big, at home, big with child? A child. Oh, okay, so she's pregnant. Okay. Aye. The tale goes that rather that uh, then facing the faith spun for him by Namea, he bit behind the mangling body of his, of his leader and watched as his comrades were torn apart one by one. All so that he might return home to see his bo uh, see his son born. Should he have died a hero rather than lived a coward? Was being able to see his son worth having the boy grow uh, grow knowing his father was a craven, a disgrace to his friends and family? Should I ever find him? myself face with a similar decision i would have the courage to walk the righteous path you can't say that fuck no you cannot say that 
how you know the true reason I will never... And now you know the true reason I will never step into the game. Who is the bigger coward then? Now it... This is... Wow. Yeah, of course. No, that makes sense. It, it's not better. Definitely not. Let's take... Just take the money. Equip that. Kind of want to do it. I hate Cuddler's Cry. I'll be very, very honest about it. It's right over here. Level 38. We've done all of them. Might as well just do this one as well, right? Alright. Uh, we'll see how it goes. One of the DPS fell asleep. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll do two. Now I start doing my thing. I will do another one just to make sure nothing goes from my grasp. I don't want him to go. Now, I will definitely be asking with the final boss, like... What was it again? So far, it seems very, very straightforward. Uh, let's keep some uh, areas going. I think it's more important to keep them on me. I think that we should be better for the first boss then. Let's keep it nice and simple.
You know, the most dangerous thing about these dungeons has always been the fodder. Yeah, I'm definitely the wrong way. <laughs> I'm expecting him, him being spawning or because he's actually going down way too fast. That was easy. That was a very easy fight. Neat. Neat. There you go. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll use it, but I accessory? Hell yeah, I can use accessory. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, where the hell is that entrance? Uh, uh, fine, just go get whatever. Surprised. I'm actually I'm I'm doing decently, I think. I most I probably could have gone through the water or so. But we'll see. Uh, oh yeah. Uh. I hate this one. And he already took regen on me, which is absolutely smart. Yeah, this is a... He is such a prick. He will go under and then it's just... It's luck. Okay, just there we go. He'll go in a straight line. He 
might just go again because we actually did a lot of damage already on him. Just be on the move, I think would be the best. Yeah, that's 10 seconds. And now he, there he goes. Damn beast. That was actually not that bad. He's gone. It's over. Point of no return for you, Wolfie or Wormy. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll greet it. I'll greet it. I'll, I won't be that guy. I won't be that guy. If, if they roll on it, they roll on it. If they don't, they don't. It's up to you. Uh, this bit, I think that will be... My next one needs to go, and then we'll do the area again. Here's the Chimera. We'll see. Hopefully they react. Uh, let's go with that. <laughs> sure. Nobody knows. Uh, purple in, blue out. Okay.
Purple in, blue out. I did it again. Oh my god. I'm. Never mind. And this time I'm going to pay attention to it. The light, the text is right on my monitor. This time I was actually a good. I didn't even see it though. So let's not, no, let's not pat myself on the back too much. Turn violet. That's in. See that ball? You have to stop it and then it will go boom. Blue. GG! <laughs> yeah, it was actually quite nice. He, he gone down and he died. That was nice. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. There we go. Um, got some money. Did another dungeon. Great. Got that off our list. Mechanics, huh? Mechanics. Let's go to... Do we have to go back to the fella and talk him about it? What we could just quickly do is... Do I have all of the dungeons? Let's go to Limsa. Because we've got some stuff. We got some stuff and we'll um, let's take a look. Strength, right, tenacity. Uh, put in the armory. Uh, skill, speed, strength, critically directed, vitality. Place in the armory. And this stuff, I'll just. Uh, I need the points. I need the points, so sort that stuff out. How many points do I have now? 8,000. Um, there's 12 dungeons below level 50. Thank you. Uh, let's take a look. How many do we have then? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I got all of them. Great. Then I don't have to look. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. How are you doing? How is your day? How is or how was your day? It, it's, it kind of depends on where you live, of course. Uh, we need to go... To the Aft Castle. I've been here for a while. I kind of want another weapon. I... I, I want it to be huge, like absolutely massive. Shadows on cast. Wait, what? The hunt begin. We need to be a lieutenant. It's foggy here. Oh, okay. It's uh, I'm GMT minus seven. We're working the night shift. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with that. I'll be, uh, I'm skipping the night tonight. Um, so we'll have an event and I'll go t to bed at 5 a.m. And I have three night shifts myself. Two 12 hour shifts. So I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Uh, Sergeant first class. Uh, GMT negative seven. Uh, I'm in GMT, I think negative one. 
Yeah, I think so because I'm in Amst I'm in Amsterdam time. Like I, I live in the Netherlands. Right, let's let's get rid of this stuff. Damn. What, what kind of job do you do you do if I may ask? Uh, I'm in security myself. Um, apply for a promotion. There you go. That one's now open. So we're now a sergeant first class. Is that? If we go here, we can actually check. Yeah, we have uh, Chief Storm Sergeant to go. Which is how many? So we need to win her approval. So how long have you been, you know, playing uh, Final Fantasy? Or have you, are you not playing? You're just looking for people to watch, uh, which I, I can definitely assume. Uh, Sergeant Dozen. Doing the meals from proud as ever I see. As a fa as a matter of fa fact, you're just a woman I was hoping to come along. How is them sort of Ishgard is in some disarray and you're just the one we need to answer the call? Oh no. I, I done this one already. Travel to the dark or perch subterranean fortress once you're ready. Make your way to the central highlands of Cortas. I trust you'll have little trouble finding the dark hole. Retainer in the server house and we will brief you in great detail when you arrive. We await word of your success. I've already done Dark Hole. I did not like it. Uh, I do tech support and commissions on bait. Oh, nice! So there's a lot of night night crew. You just focus someone in Bronson. Oh, in Bronson. Cool. Awesome. Way to go, man. Oh. Sounds like a great job. Well done. Better than just wait. Uh, for me, it's just mainly, you know, I'll wait for something to happen. I'm good at waiting. <laughs> All right, well, I don't need anything. Do we do Dark Hold right now? We don't have to. You're a legacy player. But Ooh, holy crap, dude. So, I started playing this in version 1 as well uh, on a different account on which I've lost all details of and then I stopped playing and uh, uh, when I can, can come do it and do make it faster um, that would be great are you, are you on the on the server with us I go uh, that's the wrong button. Sure, uh, we can do dark hold. Just, just give me, uh, give me a friend request, and uh, for all I care, we do it unsynced. <laughs> I don't care. About to be, yeah, cool. We'll do that. Yeah, I'll see if anyone is actually online. Uh, no, it's fine. I don't think it's level 85. Usually, don't really care about you doing low content. I love it. What's actually going on over here? Is this the apparently there's an event making it rain? I've not looked into it at all. Oh, and I also have some of these material things to do. So after Dark Hold, we'll, I'll be continuing the MSQ again. I'm kind of hoping to finish. A realm reborn which will still be a lot of work we need to rescue minfilia we need to stop that's a gambling event well luckily we have a well-informed adventure over here ah, i've not done gambling let's not do gambling uh speaking of that let's take a look is that oh yeah it is okay this ring Increase experience earned by 30% when level 30 and below. How nice. Not helping me. Strength, vitality, crit rate. What's the eye level? Eye level is 30. Uh, unendosin. Uh, it's unendosin. 
Is that... Yeah, that, that must be you. It's the same name. Uh, it's due to the item level. It's not being switched, I think. Anything in here that would serve me better? Oh, well, whatever. There's a few inventor played over here. Oh, look at you! Boy 1190! New adventure? Oh, you're also a new adventure. That is so cool. Oh, and you're a content creator. He, uh, he him, Sink. Sink has no age. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's so weird. And you're also from Behemoth Primal. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't know you could have these beasts in there. I put it in there because it's funny. Yeah, Sink has no age. So you could say, like, it has no age or it has no age. Yeah. Yeah, I, I type it as well like that. It's always like so. You could also assume it, like, Sink has no... H but then H with an H yeah okay I'm an idiot I'm well aware of that uh, how do you want to run it because we have two warriors now and I can't switch to another class because the dungeon is level 44 and this is my highest class on this character so I think we need to unsync Uh, American soda is more than infants. I oh. undersized, but you need to go. Oh, oh yeah! Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I would have forgotten. Oh, I honestly would have forgotten. Uh, let's go there. That would be stupid. I would have to do it twice. That's kind of dumb. It's more. H. Oh, yeah, I'm Dutch. Uh, we we are like like the Chinese can copy items. We're good at copying language, and none of it is actually good. I don't know if it, that was incredibly offensive if I said that. I don't know. <laughs> what did you see? 13 years playing this game. You know, that is incredible. There's not a lot of people that can play for that long. Uh, and But I get why. It has so much to do. Like, I started playing in December on another character. And then I quickly lost sight on... Um, like, everything that was going on. Uh, and so I started to... Uh, do another did this character I created this character just for streaming right but it, it's so close to what is quote-unquote like my main that I'm most likely going to be transferring the FC over to this character relatively soon Inga's had a lot of stolen stuff um, true that is true Oh, you must be the reinforcements. I beg your pardon. Recent sightings have led me as kittish as an untrained chocobo. Dismal Darkhold, the name itself sends a shiver up the spine, does it not? The place has been infested by all matter and fearsome voids, and of late, why, I've had heard, I've ha even heard words of sta statues coming to life? While we as guardian pride ourselves on seeing to our own defenses, the threat this time is simply too great. You'll see to those ab abominations, won't you? Yay! Oh, let me let, let, take a look at you. Ah, you're gorgeous! Look at that! Looking great! Whoa! Oh, that is an X! Hell yeah, that's an X! Here's mine. It's sad. Even my minion 
is just constantly laughing out loud because of this axe. Let's go. Uh, I'm just a free trial. Wait, 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 wait. In just a free trial, if you do all, there's about seven. Yeah, that is so true. I've, ooh, I'm, I'm very curious to see what's going on. Like you have, wait, we have Echo? Wait, is this, uh, what level are the monsters then? No, you're still 90. That's so sick. <laughs> that is so true. I've uh, I've saw this video about this content creator. Thirteen thousand hours spent playing the free trial. How fantastic! You know, that is so. And then this this. The games these days, they like they, the games are being pooped out, you know? All of these MMOs that they claim to be MMOs, yet they're just pure cra cash grab. Oh yeah, this is where we need to be in the light, I think, right? I died in this section. Um, I think I was over there. I don't know, still don't really know why. Oh yeah, there's the big ass boulder coming in. Damn eye. The all seeing eye. But yeah, it, it's so cool. Uh yeah. Guess we'll go down. Yeah, and then it was in the light. I didn't know that. So some people had to explain it to me, which is, you know, very friendly. Oh, yeah, look at me being strong. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, we got a book. We got sunglasses. Uh, pass that. Can't take it. That's fine. So what is your favorite, your most favorite class? Wait. A warrior. Yeah, I think it's cool. Where the hell am I? I'm lost. There's a frog behind me. Let me take this coffer. I need tokens. I, uh, I st I've never played a tank, so when I decided to make a new character, uh, I decided that I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, right? And I was playing uh, more uh, Black Mage. And it, it, it was nice. It was definitely nice playing a Black Mage, but... This is... I, I, I'm starting to be more fam... The fuck? That's so fast. I'm starting to... I'm start, finally starting to be more familiar. Damn, damn toad. Go away. With... Um, with everything. So, it, it's, it's like... How do you say that? Like... Getting a, a set of balls, per, um, more or less... But some I, half the time I don't even know what's going on. Like I don't know the dungeons all that well, and then um, <laughs> I just rush in. I'll act like I know what the hell is going on. The shield the stupid big on your rich page bar. Um, that shield is stupidly big on your rich page. Uh, what this one? Shield. Oh, you're also a mentor. Cool. Look at your HP in the party list. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, I get what you mean now. Yeah. 
That is absolutely... I have... It, it's like twice my bar or something. It has these two dots. Never went through this this fast. It's more. Huh. Oh, this is the crystal thing. It's about nine... Wait, 90,000? Holy shit, man. Oh, this is so fast. Thank you so much for this. I really didn't feel like just having to do that again. I want to finish the MSQ. I want to get into um, the post-Realm Reborn and stuff, you know? So cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, that will give me some more stuff to actually turn in. Uh, now that is, that is done, let's go back to Lenosia. Oh, that's too reverend tall, actually. I need to go to the other one. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's go to Lenosia. Turn in the quest. Come on, then. Do it. <laughs> but I'm a slow reader. He'll figure that one out. Uh, Aft Castle. I also, I don't want to, like, run. I, I've been going slow. Slow as snails, man. Let's get this in. It's I'm so close. Little, uh, this is level 46. I think this will get to 47. And then it's, like, a few more quests. Like, a handful of quests. Welcome back, Sergeant Dosen. Word of your success has already reached us. If anyone deserves a plentitude of storm seals in recognition it's you the house demons knight spoke most highly of the outcome this will go far to improve the millstrom's reputation in ishgard rest assured that your superiors will hear directly from me of your efforts at any rate it won't be long until you have a shiny new rank to show for yourself i'd wager be strong and be saved those until sea swallows all yeah, there's a gap seven. Yeah, I know, right? So it, it's it's been fantastic. I'm I'm very excited. I'm not excited about um, the how's the dungeon call again? The um, Praetorium, Praetorium or something? I think it's called. Uh, because that if it, it feels like it is uh, so damn slow. Yeah, but I, I'd rather take the other one, um, where you, you run through that course and you have these few bosses. I can help Blitch that one too. Uh, you know, first one, we'll just, you know, we'll just play it. But I do appreciate the offer. Can't wait to get some tomes, get some good. Add trim. Yeah, sorry for that. Add in progress for four seconds. Yeah. I'm lazy, so I queued it up. I think it's once... 30 seconds per hour. Yeah, 30 seconds per hour is my ads. Want to go in? It hardly seems sad, but let's not try it to be seen. Okay, right, well, that's too late for that. Last I heard was, take uh, on another, take the other on. Um, you said like blitz that one and I was like, um, I appreciate that offer, uh, but I do want to just give it like actual like a feel that it, it will go great. Like the fights are not that spectacular, especially per, uh, the, the, the large one. It's like four bosses or so. Assuming you meant you prefer Cast Yes. I I do prefer Castrum over Prayer. Yeah. Because it's 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 more active. You you just You actually have to do there's some ads you kill, there's some bosses, it's not constant videos. The only thing is the boss. That uh, that white chick, I don't know what her name is. She has one annoying attack. 
where the entire room is like an, an area where there's that's only one spot you won't be hit and i always have difficulties finding that one so anyways do you have the memel uh mehmet heart i can't wait to see if it works yeah yeah in in a bag Hurrah, thank you so much. But this, this is magnificent. I could just have, uh, it must have cost an Emperor's Ransom. Yes, and I have the ticket. Free of charge, courtesy of Alfinot? Coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages. But without further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. Yeah, they changed it so ultimate is owned for you. Yeah, I'm very grateful for that. There, she's ready. Magitek armor, engage. Or not. <laughs> she just need a love tap, I wager. Man, I look cool. I love this gear. Apparently, I, I, I did. This is Ultima Extreme or something. Apparently, I did it. I didn't even know where that I did that. I was told, like, uh, we usually do events with the Discord. Tonight, we have one as well. Uh, and, and then we just run the... We, we just decide on what we do there on the spot. Just have some fun and shenanigans. And we were doing ext extremes. And we were actually going to be doing the anima. And I'm like, like oh, I already did that one. Like, this had this checker mark going on. That was nice. Yeah, see. She's alive. Let's take her outside and put her through, uh, through her pace. You know, would you care to do the honors? Uh, no, really. We were speedrunning prayer with friends. And they had the special Moogle event. It was down seven minutes? Prayer with all of the videos? This is the one with the videos, right? Oh, you were going unsynced. My god, you are genius. You are a genius. I never realized that I, I learned quite recently about unsinking dungeons. Up into the pilot seat will begin as soon as you are ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing the tangle of crystals yonder. As far as up you can go, if you please. Uh, we had to do it synced. Oh. Seven minutes? The fuck? How? If you synced. Damn. You're like, F the mechanics, we'll just start striking it down. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. Okay, yes. Uh, let's go. It's kind of dumb, but okay. As high as you can, they say. No anomalous movement uh, evident from either leg. Wait, what? No anomalous movement evident from either leg. Good. Next. Jump back down and sprint north as quickly as you can. Hi. Hey, Ida, how you doing, man? Leg joints absorbing all impact without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, you know. Uh, too early for you. How about for me, man? I was up at six. The torso remains stable during vis uh, vigorous mo uh, motion. Excellent. And that concludes our test. Thank you for your co 
Holy crap, man, you got a you got a light one. Oh, it's nice. That is notes my wife's fault actually. Uh, my wife had to go to work and I took her there. So yeah, it's it's all it's on it, it, it's on my wife. I, I, I will I will not take responsibility for that. Here is a summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition with some fine tuning we can expect. A noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism. I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it should be. And I'm at a loss to explain why. The Mammoth Heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms. Uh, whereas Magitek cores serve only to conduct impulses. Mammoth hearts enable automata to process the information collected by those sensors as feel feelings. Ah, maybe. She just doesn't feel the part of a team. In which case we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. You got to be kidding me. You got to be joking. Click. Yeah. Click. I feel you. Yeah. Uh. You're above the maximum level. Yeah. I'm not like I'm not above. I'm level 50. You ask for level 50. Oh, it was you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Daft as it felt, I gave it my best. I've welcomed myself to a bloody standstill. What were you expecting to do anyway? Bob as a Kirsty. This is what the fuck's his problem. If you are above, yeah. <laughs> no doubt you're wondering why the server mechanism is so important as to warrant this silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an wondrous ta uh, task at the best of times and wholly impact during battle. Using the Mammoth Heart in place of the worn Magitek core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with Guardian technology. Wedge. Are there no other ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? Appreciation, never mind. I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance, perhaps, or cheer our hats off. Or we could bloody bolt it. Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it. They have us cornered. That's fine, I'll just butcher every one of them. There's the Reaper. There you go. Smash him up. Taken by the traitor Garland. And is that the Icon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. Call the reinforcements. Is that a bomb? The hell you will. Or oh, maybe not. Uh, we've located the stolen Reaper requesting immediate assistance. Respond? Respond! 
It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. We can't reclaim it. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. <laughs> Bloody hell, you know. Protect the armor at all cost. Eh? Just, 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 just leave it to me. Where the hell did that huge thing come from? Go. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh, it actually has an HP bar. Okay. Well, I might need to pay attention a bit more then. Now, I'm sure there will be more reinforcements, even though they should not be able to. Wait, that's it? That's easy. Thank you. Chief, look. She moved. Ah. Now she dines to graze us with her presence. And then she steps on that wedge. Squishing him completely into the ground. It took a good while. But we're finally ready. Hey. It's time to infiltrate Castum Sentry and rescue our comrades. And no one missed the cheese. So true. Yeah, the finishing touch. Seriously, like we'll infiltrate. Like, okay, we'll infiltrate a stronghold. Yet we do tag this machine with a logo that we'll most likely never do with the Imperials. And then we just barge in there and they don't realize what the heck is going on. Yeah, that's smart. Love that. This is clever as hell. Precisely. The server mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. Remind me not to install a Mammoth Heart aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I would rather not be required to profess it before boarding. But enough of that, let us see to our final preparations. Thanks to Big and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. We're as prepared as we are like to get, likely to get. All right, let's go. Have a four sick escape from Castrum Sentry. How go your preparations, Une? We leave as soon as you are ready. Uh, Glaumund, you come, Glaumund. You came, never mind. Ah. Though I'd give you all a roaring send off, it's the least that I can do for the fine men and women uh, what are about to make my lifelong wish come true. We'll 
Well, we'll do our best. It occurs to me, with all the help you've afforded us, we know little and less about you. What did the Empire do to earn your ire? Ah, but I fear I've put curiosity before cons consideration? Before consideration? I quite understand if you'd rather not relive those moments. No, <laughs> don't mind. Truth be told, a part of me was itching to tell you my tale. Mind you, it's hardly novel. I ain't the first to suffer at Imperial hands. Here we go, man. Story of his life. We asked for that, of course. Like most folk, I used to have a mother. She was sweet. Caring woman with a smile never far from her face. There was a sister too. Pretty little thing. She was gentle as a lamb, but tough as nails. We were poor folk living simple lives, but we knew happiness just the same. And then the Imperials came and took it all away. When Alamino fell, they put my family in a camp. Being a lad, I was made to do hard labor, while my mother and sister were forced to do far worse. They hid their suffering from me as best as they could, but I knew, and the thought of it drove me mad. We had to escape, and so I had the plan to get us out of the city. We were picking our way around a gorge not far outside the wall when they caught up with us and rather than allowing themselves to be taken again my mother and sister leaped over the ledge before my very eyes holy shit heartbroken as i was i didn't put up a fight when the imperials clapping and changed again okay and bring me back the fuck <laughs> Okay, it was some years after I escaped again, and that time I got away, I swore. Then that I'd get revenge on the Empire and become an adventurer as, uh, so as to hone my skills and earn the coin I needed. But not of, uh, but night on two decades have since gone by, and what have I achieved? Bugger all, that's what. Okay, oh, guys, you're just a horrible adventurer. Not like you lot. You ain't been here 10 minutes and you've already done more than I managed in 10 bloody years. Oh, we have Alfino who's apparently freaking rich. You gave us too much credit, Graumund. Of Glaumund. We seek only to rescue our friends. Well, what's more important than that? Any road. After you've got your friends back, you're, uh, you're planning on going after the Empire. And don't pretend you ain't. I helped a few folk take on the Imperials over the years. And every time I have, I've helped stave off my appetite for, for revenge. But Summer tells me I won't be going hungry for a while. Where, uh, what with everything you've got planned. And you're sure... That you will you will satisfy you are, are, and uh, you are sure that will satisfy you if you wish to strike back at the empire with your own two hands and you need only say the words we would be glad to have you join us tempering though your offer is i'm afraid i must decline i swore i get revenge on the empire it's true but i've long since realized that the front lines are no place for men like me I. There's some as would call me craven, but I prefer to think of myself as a realist. My tales lie in scheming, you see, not swordplay. Helping folk like you is how I can make the most difference. But that's quite enough storytelling for one day. Best not keep your friends waiting any longer. I'll be praying for your safety and success. May Ruggle give you strength. And that's my best pronunciation of it. <laughs> but 
Whenever the Empire goes, misery inevitably follows in its wake. For the sake of all who call Eosia home, we must put an end to Gaius's ambition. But first, we have friends to rescue. Big, uh, Biggs, Wedge and I will lie in wait east of Castrum Sentry just outside the Stronghold Patrol Perimeter. Join us when you're ready. Oh, and don't forget to wear your disguise or this will be a short rescue mission. The shortest rescue mission in history. Alright. And I for completely forgot to take screenshots and I do need to take a few. But I think that we are actually now going to be at the best possible time for that. Uh, you. And uh, not you. Helmet. Not that helmet. That helmet. Yeah. Looking like a bloody Imperial spy right now. Let's go. Looking forward to whatever it is that we start unlocking. Um, hard dungeons. All of that stuff. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait. Let's go. So this is then level 30, yeah, 46. And then we should be seeing... Of it should be going really, really fast the second we hit, like, 47. And then on the way to 50. But that might take a while. I'll do my best to actually finish, like, a Realm Reborn today. And I'm excluding the post-play of Realm Reborn for today. Because that is not going to happen today. Let's be honest about that. It, it's Why do they always stand with monsters? Always something like that. Forgive me for saying so, but you look rather fine in Imperial Black and Crimson. Definitely your colors. Ah. But now is not the time for jests. Ah, look. Ah, I'm, I'm a sexy bitch. Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum Sintry lies just beyond. A short while ago, an Imperial Patrol left to do its round. Alphenard and I will create a diversion out there and keep them occupied for as long as we are able to. Meanwhile, the three of you will enter the stronghold posing as to patrol. Posing as the patrol returning from duty. I still don't get why these two join us. But okay. Should Alphenard and I prove less distracting than hoped, I will contact you via Link Pearl. Be ready to beat a hasty retreat. Nah, you put an axe to him. Nah, that's that's the st stupidest picture. Wedge will lead the way in the Reaper. Stay close to him. They join us, Cannon. Yeah, but th there's, there's absolutely no reason for them to join. They, they don't even know where the others are. They said that. Like, yes, there was reading. They were taken to a holding cell. And Minfilia... And that was the last time they saw Minfilia and the others. There's no bloody reason they have to be here. Just give me a few battle-hardened warriors. You know, who strike fear in the hearts of others. No, they're not. <laughs> And I hardly need to tell you this, but don't do anything suspicious, like infiltrating an enemy camp. Oh, and lest you're wondering, Ida and Yastola left shortly before you arrived. We had planned that they should linger in the vicinity to cover your retreat in the event that Alfinard and I attracted too much attention. But 
the approach, uh, but the approach of an imperial vessel fought us to improvise. Don't be so, don't be too disappointed. They did at least leave a message for you, something along the lines of "Don't do anything reckless." If memory serves, wise. Uh, if memory serves, wise words. Do arms. All right, Imperial patrol should be returning any moment now. You best be off. Good luck, Unu. May the twelve keep you. No, don't keep me. And they, they, if, if they keep me, I'm dead. I kind of want to remain alive. That's so freaking lame. Bum, 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 bum. Pom, pom, pom. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to do that. Oh. You have spirit. That I will allow. Yet you struggle to the benefit of none. Least of all, yourself. This echo of yours intrigues us. We desire only to understand it. And for that, we need your help. You wish to be rid of the icons, do you not? She's not wrong. You would have saved yourself a great deal of torment had you accepted our aid from the beginning. Tell me everything, and I shall end it quickly. Refuse, and though you beg for death, you shall not have it. Which will it be? Not really a choice, is it? As you wish, my dear Minfilia. Unpleasant though it will be for all concerned, you leave us no choice but to employ more rigorous methods of study. Be so kind as to deliver the prisoners to Castrum Meridianum. Yes, my lady. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look here. Perform an Imperial Salute to Imperial Soldiers. You're just a courier, but here you go, brother. I'll salute you. Yeah. Oh, uh, my apologies. I didn't notice you there. So engrossed was I in my task. You would be engrossed too. Had the Tribunes commanded you to, uh, you to arrange... For the prisoners to be trans... You just blap in every... What prisoners do you speak of? You mean you haven't heard? Only the infamous science of the Seven Dawn. Captured by the Tribunus herself. If you don't believe me. Have a look in the stray In the storage tower. When you pass. Uh, but that, that way. Yeah, yeah. Because they will be blapping every secret they have. Immediately. That's fine. Alright, uh, you. Tell me your secrets. Hmm. <clears throat> that was a fine salute. Part of the maintenance crew from... Ossidens. Are you? Welcome to Castrum Sentry Engineer. Prisoners? Ah. You've heard the rumors then? Yes. They're being held in a storage tower. But I strongly suggest... You pay them no mind. You were summoned here for work. Not to gal, but yours is defeated, heroes. Now, show a bit of enthusiasm or I will have you reported. Such a friendly fella, isn't he? And we have a slacking Imperial Guard. What do you want? 
No, Dolphy. Greetings, comrade. Forgive me for asking, but you haven't visited Storchtown recently, have you? I only asked because I dropped something in there and... Um, <clears throat> who am I fooling? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, alright? I dare say you know the one, which one I mean. <laughs> it's this with a blonde. Oh, he has a crush on Manfilia. Wait. It could also be the guy. He's blonde as well, right? Um, did they actually capture the guy as well? Um, how's he called again? Shit. Uh, this fades me. Oh, you tell me the name. Um, I can remember. Sent up, nay. Oh my. Ah, oh, come on. What's the guy's name? He's also blonde. Not Minfilia, but the other guy. Uh, Tentron. Ten Tentrons? Ten Tenton. Oh, it's coming from deep, but you know who I am to. Guns, no. Oh my god. It's the Lollafalin lass I'm smitten with. She's so adorable it hurts. I want to sweep her up into my arms and squeeze till she, till my arms ache. What do you reckon I would take to convince the sentry to lend me the key so I can see her? This is dis disgusting. That's... Ah! Okay, I feel grossed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is... No. Oh, that's so bad. I'm... Oh, no. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay, here we go. Imperial Sentry. What's this? You need access to the storage tower. What business have you there? At the Tribune's behest, you say? It's highly irregular. But it would not do to make my lady uh, rough. Take my identification key. See that it's returned when your error is concluded. Alright. Alright. Bex is just, just happily waiting over here. Tower is over there. Here you go, Biggie. Security is tight, as we expected. We're going to need a special key if we want to get past this bucket. Fortunately for you, dude, <laughs> I already have it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can't take them serious. I uh, love the at all, I'm sorry. It's like when I was playing Terra, you had these, these, these other ones, these, these, and they were quite okay. You had these, um, they're like dogs, dogs or badges or something, you know, and that was okay. Oh, this is actually where we are right now. Look, will they attack me? Uh, we can change back, I think. No, I'm not going to do that. Mephilia and the rest, thank goodness they're safe. Oh, there's no tension. It's just... Uh, other dude, small dude, small girl, Mephilia. 
I am the one you want, leave the others be. If you harm my friends, I swear I shall take my own life and you shall answer to your mistress. Seriously, that's what you do? Come on, Papa Limo. And that was Urange and Tataru. Just, just so you know that I do actually pay attention to the story. Tataru, we must do something. Uh, we're risking letting the entire Casper know we're here. Just, just get me my axe. Ah, you're right. We may not get a better chance. Oh, slice him. This is the third squadron. What is it? A reaper seized when? And they came to... Uh, and this came to light now, or only now? Uh-huh. The culprits will have left a trail. Take as many men as you need and scour the area. I want that reaper found. Now's our chance. Let's go. It's I'm not in gear anymore. What the? Strike me last. See? See that icon? After's over. Eliminate the intruders. I think I was too late. Oh man, shoot that magic tech. Shoot it. We, we can do it. We, we, we can do this. Alright, there you go. Come on, everyone on me. You can do this. Now, one has a, um, the chain going. What's that? Thunder 2. So, yeah, we have a mage. Deal with that first. Messed up the rotation again. I'm expecting reinforcement. I'm, I'm constantly expecting reinforcement. Okay, maybe not. Une, I was so scared. It was foolish of you to come here. You might have been killed. But thank you. I sunder to think what might have happened if you not arrived when you did. I say this, uh, you did not see tension anywhere. I'm beginning to fear for the fellow. It lingered... Oh no, he thought... I, I don't like how he speaks. It's so devastating to me. To linger here shall, lead, uh, shall yield us no answer. Let us away ere the window to our liberty closes shut. What did you say? Escaped? Then recapture them. Fail and I shall have your hat. Oh no. And what do we have here? Do it like this. Oh, you stole her. Hello. The Tribunus herself, just as you said. You have the eye of an Ariman Ida? Damn. Well, she kind of is hard to miss in that showy armor of her. Accused science? How did you slip our defenses? With unexpected ease, to, if truth be told, they changed. 
there chance to be a commotion outside the castrum walls which allowed us to avail ourselves to the efforts of your vehicle you started just being polite this was one of the most uncomfortable things i've ever stowed away in it's no wonder it's called the phantom train no passenger would be seen dead on it so you scuttled in amidst the freight like the vermin you are i shall be sure to have words with our rat catcher such negligence is unforgivable that is far from your most pressing concern first you must answer for your own wrongdoing Livia Sass Junius and she takes a leave it was you who led the raid on the walking sand you who butchered unarmed men and women for the crime of being unworthy of capture you killed our friends will never forgive you nor shall we suffer you to plague Eorzea a day longer we take you to your guard. Well, there's guards. More intruders. Protect the tribunus. Confound it. Eat out with me. No branching time today. Okay. After them. What are you saluting about? You heard her. Where is his excellency? In the hangar, my lady. In discussion with our guest. Alert him at once. Yes, my lady. Oh, my dogs need to go outside, so I have to deal with that. Oh, that is what? No, 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 no. There they are. Fan out and surround them. Must protect Tataru. Biggs, I'm going in. See everyone to safety. Come on, you little potato. You can do it. No witch. Don't do it. Yeah, you could have waited. He didn't have to go there. No. Oh no, Une. Hold them off. I'll look after Minfilia and Tatar. Of course, you are a huge hero. Uh, but we're getting uh, help from Urange and Popolimo. The hell is that? Come here. Come on. On me. I think you are the healer, aren't you? I think yeah. Oh, who's the summoner? Oh, of course, Orange is the summoner. He's immune. Wait, there. Oh, wait, there are some things that I need to find. There we go. They don't tell you. Which is actually quite, quite mean. Uh, there should be like, I don't know, like three or so? Not sure though. Or is that a later mission? I, oh no, actually he's taking damage. He's taking damage. There we go. Stop throwing. Do we just keep running? There's no end to them. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Oh, like so. Yeah. Yeah, this is... He definitely deal with this. Yeah, I'll let you guys out when you when I'm done with this mission, okay? 
Is he getting damaged? I think there's two. Because there's two of those contraptions. There we go. Let's um, get some HP. I'm also paralyzed. Slightly annoying. Yeah, but Belimo never had to heal so hard in his life. Again? Yeah, buddies, I'm coming. Waste of iron, yeah, true. That was easy. I had a lot more problems with that when I was playing like the mage, like a black mage. Skill, by the way. What the? The Astola. The Astola. Pray, forgive us our delay. I need those tattoos on my Mimilla. neck as well. Liar. The reunion must wait. Uh, West Denture. Right. First things first. Yes. Let's get back to being heavily outnumbered. <laughs> what do you expect? You ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. <laughs> okay, I like his voice acting. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. Oh. Come on, man. Terminator mode. But there's no one in there. This is Sid. Can you hear me? Yeah. I need you to count to five, then jump. Understood? Jump where? Like jump up, jump backwards. One. Two. Cringe. Three. Fuck. Four. She doesn't say anything. <laughs> how did how did they land? Yeah, one. It is, and everyone's waiting there. F f is there, is there a five? Is there a five? Is there a five? 
Like, you, you pick a voice, right? Could they not have, like, voice acted in a five? With every voice they did? Because, you know, those, those weird stuff. <laughs> Everyone dies because we failed to say five. For the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. His voice acting, is, I really, really think is great. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power. The power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people who will suffer. Embrace reason. He needs to see a doctor because he's been speaking to himself. No one will hear this. What in the seven hells? Cool attack. Oh, oh never mind. No. He was talking to his machine. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. We already knew that. Uh, we, we've seen it in combat. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient Alag. Excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo. I'm very sorry to do this, but my dogs really need to go out now. It looks cool, though. The Alagans used it to crush Primal and Foe alike. And now the Garleans mean to do the same. Damn you, Gaius! Look! There! Beside the Black Wolf! An Asian. An Overlord, no less. His garb attests to that. Okay. La Habrea. It could only be him. Thancred! Was La Habrea? No. No, this cannot be. Oh, his we aim is now. a freaking mess. Thancred! No! Oh, so is the voice acting. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> All that time, the enemy was beside me, and I never even suspected. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. <sighs> How could I have been so blind? Small wonder the enemy knew our every move, and where to find us! Uh, confound it all! No. No, this is not the time for self-doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not inevitable. Cryo, this is Minfilia. The situation I may have taken an ill turn. Me if I seem brusque. But the battle the is far from over. 
And so long as we stand together, Wonderful. there shall ever be hope of victory. Press, but we need it urgently. The people of Eorzea falter for want of such hope. Let us provide debt, it. My Let us bear to them the tidings that the scions of the seventh dawn are returned. Don't you hate that? When someone is trying to do this, this motivational talk, and someone's on the phone, Minfilia. See? Matters are coming to a head. No respect. I hope we can count on you. My regards to Grandfather. Just tell Chuck. Yes, dear. My regards to Grandfather. Oh, sorry, you were talking? Did it, what did I miss? I am ready. Oh, Let she's ready to pay, ready to pay attention. Let's go. That's <laughs> so stupid. What what was that call about? No for oh man. Hells take the black wolf and his new toy. Oh. My dog needs to get in. Sorry for that. Ed is starting soon. Sorry for that. Uh, rally all available forces. We want them ready to move upon my word. And relay to... Uh, Slaferin to the orders to sail. That is all. Uh, okay, we're going to war. The maelstrom stands ready. What of the flames? Ready as we're likely to be. We need only give the word to uh, Roali. Has there been no word from Ishgard? No, the dragons have got their tongues. Silent to the last. I was on it was unwise to hope for the better. What would stir the odd bishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims the fury of his god. It's bad comedy. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without its cooperation. I believe we are all acquainted with the terms of the Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree upon a course of action. Not less that the faith of Eorzea hangs upon the decision of this council. Okay. Then Basal. Uh, Bale. 
Beasaw. Be Be Beelsaw? Beelsaw. Hmm. Can Beelsaw claim to wield the power to smite primals? Should we uh, yield to him, he pledges to uh, rid the realm of the false gods. Yet offer resistance and he swears that we shall share the primal's faith. Pardon me, my bluntness, but I do not like these choices. This is too great a decision for any one of our nations to make alone. Choose we surrender or resist, we must answer as one, for it's but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do the right to, to do right by all our peoples. Alright, stop praying. Attention supply troubles us all. Yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the ultimate weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. Let us go to the Alliance leaders, Une, and help them make the right decision. Is this not really a decision? I have presents for me when I'm out of the cutscene. Oh, I love presents. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what level would this be then? 46 still. I would actually be hoping it would be a bit more than that. And talk to the tickets to leave the area. Okay, we'll do. Uh, we get more Vesper Bay tickets because why not? Grim tidings, Une. It seems that word of the ultimate weapon's existence has already reached the Alliance leaders. In the form of an ultimatum, they have gathered in the fragrant chamber and are deliberating, deliberate, deliberating their answer, even as we speak. Oh dear. Beleaguered as they are, Afere may well elect to lay down their arms in the belief that surrender will spare the people untold suffering. Yet nothing could be further from the truth. That which the Black Wolves offer will do Meosia, not deliver it. And the leaders must be made aware of this. Let us hurry to them, Une, and ensure that they do not act in ignorance of the consequences. It, they fought the, um, the Empire before, like, why would they not do... Oh, let's see. How the fuck do I get out of this? Yes. Brave return to the Walking Sands! Okay. Let's go to the Walking Sands. No, I, oh, you're here. <laughs> Oh, you look cool again. Oh, that is some... What kind of class is that? Ooh. Before Brago offending. Oh, these are... Oh, that's... Oh. 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 Hell yeah. Thank you. Damn. Oh, that is sick. Oh, what? That's more? Arcan breaches offending? Oh, shit. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Thank you. But there's more. Of course, there's an, there's an X. Oh, I want to look like a boss. Hey, right, um. So we're at 95. What the? Earring, ring, ring, pants, shoes, gloves. Ooh. Interesting. 
a weapon. Yo, that is an axe. That is an axe. Finally. That is, that's not, no, oh, no, not, not do that. Sort that. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Uh, this one's wrong. You need you. That is all good. Holy crap. That is so much better than I had. Fuck. Can I do something with that? Interesting. I might just put the helmet off. Uh, make sure you hit recommended gear. Done. Thank you. That is amazing. Holy shit. I look like a... That just looks like a badass. Man, I, I, that crafting gear is amazing. Wait, is this a samurai? Oh, that's nice. This is Robin Hood vibes. Go to the home. Very cool. Yeah, that, that's, that's different. Usually you see them like they're all uh, very... Japanese based like That's interesting So this cat did what with a chicken <laughs> That's P JP based It's J is this JP based <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> oh. Cat and toad. So the cat, the toad, and the chicken. Oh, that looks. that This looks like a. Um, yeah, this is uh, a miner. That is cool. I don't know if I actually had that. That's mining gear. Yeah, no, I've never had that level 90, the bug. Sweet. A lot of GP, that's amazing. Oh, did it just switch? What the fuck? That's a sick helmet. What the fuck is that? It's a Reaper. I said a helmet, an axe. Why can't a Marauder not use this axe? Oh, it's a sight. Interesting. Does it open? It has to open. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. It's just. It's as it's, it's as big as you are. Him. In the kit. I'm sidetracked. Mihau. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. But can you just like lock them with class or something? That's, that's nice. Black? I do. I was not thinking this would be Black Mage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that, oh, wow. I love the gear. Looks great. Omega Gloves. Oh, this is a Templar, I think. It's a White Mage. What the f I'm horrible at guessing. Yeah, that's bad. You know what? I uh, do you know the um, the level sixty or the level? Yeah, I think it's a level sixty gear for a summoner. I still have nightmares of that gear. Cure two. That's thirteen thousand. Holy shit, man! That's so cool. Thank you so much for the gear. I really appreciate that. That will absolutely help me a ton. 
Oh, we went tenacity like 494. That's great. Holy shit. Skill speed as well. 400. Interesting. Tenacity 28. Um, allow that. I don't care about that. There's another wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 precisely that. I got the white gear for a summoner. I think it's from the class quests. I've never been so underwhelmed in my life. I've never felt so... I don't know if I have a picture of that. I think I should have it somewhere. Let's take a look. Um... Shots. I make a lot of screenshots, so it's very possible for me to actually have a picture of that. No, I think I got rid of it. Do I have it on Discord? Take a look. I need to have it somewhere. What happened? Uh, try this on. Uh, that's the wrong one. Try on. <laughs> no way. No way. What the... F what were they thinking? No way. Uh, let's see if I can find the screenshot that I was referring to. Um, let's take a look. Uh, no, further back. Further back. Paying attention a real bit on Discord at the moment. I'm getting close. We post too much shit, that's for sure. Holy crap. Yeah, found it. Uh, let's close that. All right. Uh, uh, let's let's see how I let's zoom out a bit. Hi, right. hey Titanic Whip, doing good, man, doing good. How about you? Uh, where's the button? That. That that that's that's a freaking joke. What the what the fuck? Doing good. Oh, good to hear, man. Good to hear. This is not a gear set. You know, you don't want to see a, an ogre with this. And I think the invoker's horn is actually the one that I'm having on here right now. Yeah, that's the stamina uh, thing as well. Yeah, yeah, I got that. That's a level 45 one, I think. Uh, if you're doing level 45, uh, that is the one, right? Yeah, that is the one. What's up with the Tower of Pisa over there? That's weird. Well, look at you. Changed again. The Gunbreaker. Looks nice. Very, very, very good. Uh, let's turn off that one thing. So, you know, you got what I uh, tried to see, right? Uh, let's put turn that off. There you go. And let me continue back to the MSQ because I'm, I'm sidetracked heavy again. I always get sidetracked. Love the cat. Absolutely Adorable. The Dark Knight. Bam. Yeah. 
Yeah, that would be difficult to see fighting. I'll be honest there. That would be difficult. I would not be paying attention at all. Okay. Um, so, without getting too much sidetracked, thank you so much uh, for the gear. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Tankini, yeah, <laughs> it's a tankini, all right. It has armor, armor rating a million percent. Yeah, there's nothing stronger than this fabric in the world. Forget steel, get fabric. <laughs> oh, that is, that is so weird. Oh, man. Okay, let's take a look. Where were we? Uh, the Black Wolves Ultimatum. I think we are getting into that point. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be uh, able to do everything. It protects the bits you want to look at. Oh, I like to look at the stomach as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's difficult. Yeah. Protects, they say, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to the um let, let's let's go with the thing thank you so much again i really really appreciate that uh where is the how the hell do i get out of here completely lost my bearings here oh there it is uh, that's the entrance lift attendant uh ruby road yeah so we will not be able to finish a realm reborn i'm very Honest here, um, because I can go max an hour and I don't think we'll actually reach the point where we want to be. You know, I love Ulda. I really think Ulda is the best looking city. From what I know of the game that is, right? Uh, I know I don't know much. Especially... But from what I know, I think it is the best looking city. And that is, I've never been past Heaven's Ward. Uh, Chamber of Rome. Oh, we need to go there. Man, my armor looks freaking amazing. <clears throat> uh, if there is a cinematic, I might just get some, um, some water. How the hell did you get here so fast? I'm an idiot. I probably took the wrong one. Is that the... Oh, that is the... Um, the inspector's dance. The... Menderville... Menderville dance, I think. The Council of the Alliance leader is presently in progress in the fragment chamber. I must ask you to step away from the doors, ma'am. You look, you took the wrong one. Oh, <laughs> I took the long. Yeah, that, that's 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 so. I'm sorry. You have all the signs of the seven dawn. Thousand pardons, milady. Of course, you may enter. Ah, we keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight. But if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... It has been five years since the Calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, Call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. True. <clears throat> Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? 
We strike them down at no small cost, only for them to rise again and again. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Yes, it's true. <clears throat> not that I deny there is truth in what you say. Nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Alas, they are gone, and the Black Wolf is at our door. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken! Alphinord, Minfilia, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? It just completely ignore me. No, oh, no problem. You, dear friend. Oh, there we go. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting the Gallians' offer to vanquish the Primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the Primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them. And mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Gallians' proposed solution. The true answer lies in a lasting peace. But the Garlians only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us. And together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. It's a nice good man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raoban? Sid, 
I... Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? Because you're considering all of the lives that are going to be destroyed when you actually go to war. You know, it's, it's your leader, it's your job to consider all possibilities. I need some water because I've not drank in like a, a one and a half hours. I talk a lot in this game. Yeah. I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before Jeez. us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. We Gridanians have no love for war. Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. And this shall never change. <laughs> Gridania will go to war. We will fight the Empire. For the sake of the realm, and all who abide here. What the fuck? What was that with her face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. He lost it. <laughs> okay, call in the doctor. Call in the doctor. Uh... Nana, Nano, Nanamo, Ul, Namo has lost her mind. <laughs> and there goes they as well. I know, right? Demonic Lalafels. What the f- of losing another had blunted my resolve. <laughs> but no I man knows it. better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready <laughs> to die for it. Uh, everyone should, actually. Everyone should cast a fireball in that direction. Jeff, what was that laughter about? <laughs> Just like that, it's, what the hell? With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We all dance who have turned sand into gold know this well. If that was true, then you wouldn't have these problems with these refugees. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? I fair lost count. I think Roban is absolutely amazing. Reckless, the lot of you, like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round, on account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Well, <clears throat> those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose back down. Or go down with all hands. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. If our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. I shall be taking the front line, I guess. We Good old times we can burn stuff. May be brought to bear against us. The maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, 
The flames will deploy at... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Lucky for Pray, us. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon. I love I love to be deployed by some some of these guys. <laughs> You're still doing the men. <laughs> uh, that's so good. Um, okay, waking sands it is. Onwards to Vesper Bay. Okay, would we be able to do this in an hour? Anyway, would it be possible? Like, I'm not meaning rushing, okay? I don't want to rush. Wait, is there a blue quest? A trauma queen. Trauma queen? What the hell is a trauma queen? Is that a dungeon? What does a trauma queen do? Let's take a look. It's a dungeon, I guess. Uh, here we're in the same trade. You better shape. Uh, you're in a better shape than me, though. A mishap at the Wondrous Palace nearly did me in, but boy, was it worth it. Oh yeah, the calamity drained near half of the water from the Bronze Lake, and there was. And there it was, an ancient temple of Ossian. Why it's called a palace then? Beats me. I just went in and looked for treasure. Me and my fella. It was like a dream. That... That's what it was like. The water hadn't done a thing. Were, there were gold framed mirrors, bright as the moon. We gazed upon ourselves draped in chains of pearl, dancing on the floor of marble and melanis, melasite, melasite. Like a king and queen, me and my fella. A dairy dove adventurer like yourself wouldn't say no to a chance like that now, would you? Tell you what. Go down to the docks west of Camp Bronze Lake and talk to Abazi Sharazi. Used to be a, bo uh, a boon companion of mine. He'll ferry you to the pla to the palace. But we will not do that right now. Uh, there is an item we need from um, that dungeon, um, that 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 palace thing. Uh, but I don't want to do it right now. We're so close to the end. I, I kind of want to just push on. I've been sidetracked so many times during this uh, last three hours. And I still want to do some other things. Uh, I have to prepare for a stream tonight. Got a few things I want to prepare. Like a room for everyone who's participating. If you're willing to join events... Then, do join the Discord. Link should be uh, somewhere in the title. Uh, it's free for all. Everyone can join as long as you're in the if, uh, if a note. That is one thing. I don't think you can join otherwise. Uh, we're on Adamantoys. So, you'll have to be on the server that can actually join Adamantoys. And we can just have some fun. And if we can have a good group, then we can do raids. And if we don't... And we don't, we can do Sosa, Palace of the Dead, there's achievements to be done with faves. There is a whole list on the Discord of things that we could do. Anyways, let's go with this. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I would know something. <coughs> Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. 
As you go, phone oh. call again. Hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? That's freakishly close. It's all right, Sid. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Who said that? Who said that we haven't had a moment to waste? Let's do it. I, I'm sure as hell I heard someone say that. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as crystals of darkness. Makes sense. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Oh, never mind the entire this bloody party is a crystal of darkness. How the hell did you get it? A mere replica. Created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah, he would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm, and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. All right. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain... comparisons. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are she, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Come, my friends, let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. All right. So... Uh... 46 still, we get Festival Bay tickets, because that's easiest to give away, and this is level 40, 49, that's an, indeed, that is a very, very good skip. Uh, there is no gear that they could give me that is going to be sufficient with what I have on right now. Not possible. Oh no, come on man, 
All present, let us begin. We have received the details of the impending operation. In what, uh, in what promises to be the largest single counter-offensive in this realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. Okay. It is enough that each man understands his part and uh, and plays it to the best of his abilities. The finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From the east to uh, from the west to east, the Maelstrom of Limsa Liminza, the Immortal Flames of Ulda, and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gradania. Next, let us examine the location of the Imperial strongholds. Near Limsa Liminza, we have Castrum Osidites, situated in the eastern Veilbrand, and Castrum Miriam which lies to the south and east in the midst of the Rotano Sea. Okay, I don't think I've been there. Near Ulda we have Castrum Meridinium to the north and the coastal outpost at, Ca at Cape Westwind which connects Castrum Meridinium to the mainland by means of a Magitek transporter. Near Gradanium we have Castrum Orions, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelfth Route. And finally, in Mordona stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. Why, why that one? The forthcoming operation will see Allied forces assault each of the afore, uh, aforementioned locations with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapons housed within the Castrum Meridium. As one might expect of the Black Wolf Seat of Power, Castrum Meridianium blah, 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 boats all but impenetrable defensive. We are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister uh, strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught twixt Hammer and Anvil. True, you would be like attacked from everyone, from up here and up there. The operation will com uh, compress four district phases, as told. First, shall see us eliminate one of Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, uh, and I'm not going to pronounce that. According to our intelligence, the Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial outpost in Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventure unit to eliminate him. Una, we would you uh, we would have you lead this assault. Makes sense. Um, the writer is a peerless field tactician. Shown of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Osidite will be as a snake without its head. Phase two will see us sever Castrum uh, primary lines of uh, supplies. But that would be then. As soon as the presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Millstrom will lay siege on Castrum Osidite. At the um, at that very hour, Limsa's arcade, helmed by uh, the Admiral himself, shall move to blockade Castrum Miriam. Meanwhile, in the Twelfth with the Order of the Twin Adder will surround the other Castrum. And they'll have the Slims there to help them. Frixia has been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castrum's defenses. 
Wait a second. Okay, this one then. Okay, fine. Forming our main trust, the immortal flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventure unit shall infiltrate the Kestrum. That's probably us again. Its mission to disable the Magitech field generator, which protects the Praetorium. <laughs> a fortress from uh, within a fortress within the ultimate's weapon is believed to be housed. We would have you take command on this one. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meridian, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Do uh, Mordona. A wise precaution, the monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two Castra is Capacious enough to transport a small arm. Uh, uh, capacious enough to run a to transport a small army. By all accounts, it is well. The guardians do not think of giving it wings. Okay. Uh, once the defenses have been compromised, operation will enter its fourth and final phase, and that is probably that. We'll see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy's uh, enemy gar garrison, allowing Unis unit to pass on opposite into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the ultimate weapon. Yeah. By this feast shall the operation be deemed a success. Yeah, that, that's that's nice. Redeem a stretch. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon us on the support of various uh, support of a variety of other parties, from the pirates of Limsa and Minza to the monetarists of Uldar. In all, the operation will evolve no fewer than twelve major factions. Legend holds that the Archeans were. 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. It is for this reason that our great endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archean. Or Archean. Archean, whatever. Countless free companies have also pledged their sword. And more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. As before, we signs shall con uh, shall work in concert with the grand companies. Ida, Paplimo, Yustola, Prey Company are respective organizations on their mission. Uranje, I would have you represent us in Ulda. Uh, reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return here and aid in coordinating coordination of our forces. Tataru, please assist Urange in any way you are able to and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Minfilia, sit. I shall accompany the main host in the advisory capacity. Of course, because you know what to fight. I will. It will be our task to an, uh, analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alfin had mentioned, you are to lead a elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see each of the Operation um, Archeon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and like it to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well, and stint not in your preparation. The battle of the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Eorzea. Well, that's just fantastic. Hope I can manage. I don't think so, I'm sorry. Pray report to the immortal flames encampment situation to the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. 
I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. So, problem is I don't think I can do all of the missions that she won because I've been sidetracked way too much. I'm sorry for that. But this is actually just outside. Alright, never mind. Okay, let's see how far we could actually get. I know a Praetorium will most likely take me half an hour. And that's not where it ends. You know, it, it, it's still... You would still need to go and deal with um, the Ultima Weapon. Which has, I believe, like two stages. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. So if anything... Um, I'll try to get to the point where we would have to enter Praetorium. Allied communication officer. You are welcome, Unedo Sin of the Science. As communication offer it officer, it falls to me to ensure to issue your orders. Uh, and provide guidance uh, to on forthcoming missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind and eliminate the Prefectus. All, participant are, all participating units are now in position and awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to the staging point and report to the lieutenant. This is but the first step in our bid to purge the realm of the Gallian Malice. I shall pray for your success. Jesus, my hero. It's this. Absolutely glamorous. Oh yeah, I need something else for that, yeah. There's a lot of missions I will get after this, by the way. I know I will get a lot of hard dungeons. So, once... And next stream would be Monday, right? Yeah. Uh, next stream in which we do the MSQ, because tonight we'll do event. So I'll be streaming later tonight, but it's, it's not going to be... Um, I need to be there. I think I need to be up here. There you go. You have the face of a crim criminal, dude. So you're Une, the fearless leader of an elite adventure unit. We have expecting you. Milstrom friends report that um, uh, Rita... Uh, departed Castrum, Belago. I'll call her Rita. And sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airship landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of these vessels with dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. I thought it was a her. Did I misunderstand? It's verified. Command to all units, request status report. It is Antillian. Target has not been sighted. Uh, target has not been sighted by the second platoon. And um, also with the third. Nothing to report of. Wait. Yeah, target has been sighted. Okay, hold positions and go. Go. Smash some Imperial ass. There we go. Let's go. What? Oh, yeah, that's so awkward. Uh, the first step of the mission begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope will be lost. It's no small burden, but I know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourself, and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow we will create multiple diversions and dispatch, disperse the enemy garrison. That should give you a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Une, and bring us uh, the hat. Yes, let's, let's, let's do the gross work ourselves. That's fine. I have an X. Alright, let's go. Uh, wait. Give it some food. Kinda need it to fight with me today. Oh, I don't, I don't. 
Oh, soon. So soon. We never have to walk again. That is so cool. Yeah, I'm not going to be fighting every one of them. Um, we, I got new gear and I'm overly confident in that. So yeah, we'll just, just ball in there right now. Well, it will be fine. What could go wrong? Right, let's go. Man, this is easy. Love it. Man, we're doing a shit ton of damage. Holy shit. And I leveled. Level 51. Was not really my intention, but it's fine. Destination is known. Oh, wait. The item level has been queued down. Snooze for five minutes. Kind of don't want to have you guys have an ad. Oh, it's him. Oh. Okay. It would appear we have an ex unexpected guest. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the woman who fell that mighty titan. Is this the Icon Slayer? Mm-hmm. That's me, I see. The commotion without... A, 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 the commotion without is not but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison. True. A bold state, a strategy, to be sure. But have you the strength to see it? Fruitation. Hey, can we just stop talking and fight? Leave us. None of you are a match for her. Send words to the Castrum. Tell them that the, Lomo the, the, the Min Lominsians are coming. Dear Lord, not the Lominsians. Once me, Lord. Yeah, right, let's fight. What is that that's being petted? It's a, a thumb rubbing someone's face. It's weird. 15 years have come and gone since Lord uh, Barsa. Uh, wait, Bailsa. Bailsa. Von Bailsa. Von Bailsa. Von Bailsa. Has set foot in the Orgy. Uh, yet his ambition for the realm burns as strong as, ever, as it ever did. Known you what fuels it adventure, the desire to deliver the people from their suffering. The land he has conquered were all bes uh, beset with problems. Uh, poverty, starvation, lawlessness and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. And who the fuck are you? But under this sage leadership, my people enjoy such peace and stability as we had ever known. And he only desires the self-same of the people for his realm. Under his rule, Eorzea would be free from the shackles which bind it. The shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses. No icons to bleed the realm dry. True peace would reign. And the people, people would, feel, uh, would be free to live their lives without fear of propagation. Persecution or oppression. Should you doubt the truth of my word, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Galamond, yet Lord Van, uh, Van Belsa saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. Let me guess, you're, you're from Mila El Amigo. He measured a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of His Excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the field of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries, uh, adversaries to smite. And you do sure as hell talk a lot. I'm doing good. How about you, MC? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not... I'm not... I am not want to bear my steel needlessly but if you are deaf to reason which I of course am 
In the name of the Lord, I shall just strike it down. Pray. Just strike me down. Do it. I might die here. I I, I know I, I I died last time. Uh, for the first time because there was some some weird stuff, and my items is being done. This time I'm not a. I think I fought on my scholar back then. And I have a lot of better gear than I had then. Yeah. Hey, you, you go shield up, bro. That's fine. Man, you are a lot weaker than I remember. So this is a one, yeah, okay. Uh, apparently we're going to be attacked. There we go. Doing good things and now running up these passwords and writing them down one place. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's definitely a good idea. My wife does the exact same thing. I'm more like an idiot. Come on, off with his hat. Uh, phase two? Yeah, phase two.
it's just a tiny bit annoying, but man, it's such a difference. Like I said, this is so different than what it was was. Hey, okay, now stay dead. All right, let's cleave off that head. Ah, he doesn't need it anymore. You got to be kidding me. Just, just go on, do the hat. You are stronger than I had expected. But I have my honor. I cannot, I will not yield. And there's no clicking. Again? Three times is a charm. It's like playing Mario. There we go. Oh, he has a bind on me. Oh, that's nasty. I can't move now. I know one thing, uh, we need to kill him before he actually does this thing. That should be fine. Hey, is he stoning up? Look at that face! Forgive me, I have failed you. Yeah. Bill Sar. That light, the Magitek uh, transporter, Une. Are you there? What is news? Oh, actually, yeah, there's a, there's a few good ones, definitely, in the Realm Reborn. With this deed, you have uh, sowed the seeds of our ultimate victory. What's he giggling about? I thought they would be like fighting. Uh, the fading of that light uh, presaged an end of the Emperor's tyranny. Uh, Rita has no more. Let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Oh, they're so happy. It's I. I seem you have done it. You seem have done it again. Uh, I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we have no time to save you the victory. There still is a small matter of infiltrating the castrum and destroying the ultimate weapon. I know, I know. The rest of the pre. Wow, uh, preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communication officer will issue your orders. I'll be awaiting for you with the main host. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, look, Hylin, your minion comes. Bringer of light. Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. 
soon. Darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true God. <laughs> if he said the one true king, I would have had a bit of a giggle. But okay, God is too is good as well, it's fine. Ah, uh, so we have to go to... Yeah, we, we, this dungeon we definitely will not be doing now. Because I cannot delay picking up my wife for that long. <laughs> the Prefect is slain. Regrettably so, my lord. And at the hand of the Icon Slayer. If the Centurion who survived the attack is to be, be believed. Yeah, I could, but you would be in trouble. Yeah, that's definitely... That would be an understatement. I would be kind of dead. Uh, where were his men when he faced the enemy? Fleeing? Even as their commander yielded up his last breath. If it should prove their question... Uh, if it should prove they questioned his right... I cannot speak for them, my lord. <laughs> that's for making me get up early. <laughs> yeah, that's for one thing. You walk home! Back pardons, my lord, but there is more. The maelstrom has laid siege to the castrum. Likewise, the crimson fleet moved to blockade the other castrum. Meh. Meh. So, this is their answer. Yeah, seriously? That's now you realize? Very well, we shall cross them as we crush the icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Very well, my lord. Oh, I'm very happy we actually get transported back. A Cyan Docent. That's not my first name. But okay. Your deeds this day are an inspiration to us all who safely watched from a distance. With the death of the Prefectus, Operation Arcan has entered its second phase. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom moves to blockade the Kestrum and the other Kestrum. And far to the east, the Black Shroud, the Order of the Twin Edda, has advanced upon Castrum. Already, you have done much to advance our cause. Performing such feast as you... Uh, performing such feast as are worthy of song. But if our plan is to succeed, more is required of you. Let us know... Where your preparation... Uh, let us know when your preparations are in order. And I shall relay to you the, uh, the protection of the next mission. Uh, we'll go with money. I like money. Okay. A hero in need. Phase 2 of the operation is presently in motion. Our brothers and sisters of the Maelstrom are holding their own against the Guardian forces. Upon uh, Vilebrand. And the uh, Rotano Sea. Ere long, the third phase will begin, and you must take to the field once more. The immortal flame shall strike at the Castrum by way of a diver by the oh my god, diversionary maneuver. While the guardians are thus locked in battle, you are to infiltrate the stronghold and bring down the magitech field that surrounds the Praetorium. The staging point of the mission lies in the shadow of the Castrum to the north, uh, northern Talalan, and that is where you must go. On your way there, however, I would ask you to make a brief stop at Camp Blue Frog, one of our key outposts in the area. The garrison, I am told, is in low spirit. Are you fucking kidding me? And it would do our troops well to see a hero of the Cape West wind appear before them. For the good of our cause, please stroke the fire in their heart. You, 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 they're parading me around like they, they do Captain America in the first film. 
Oh my god, what a reference. Yeah, uh, we need to go there. Anything in here? Uh, walking the spirit, I cannot do. Uh, okay, let's go to Blue Frog. Uh, which is actually a great place if you need mithril. It's like, I think it might even be the only place if you need mithril. I don't know. I think so, yeah. Been a while. Whoops. So I think Monday uh, I would need an hour. I think we'll end it over here though. Uh, I, I think well, let's say two hours to finish a realm of born. And we, and we can decide then on what we will do. And because A Realm Reborn isn't finished when A Realm Reborn finishes. Because you have a post. Post. A Realm Reborn version. Whether it's 2.1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I believe. But anyways. Let's talk to the fellow over here. Ah, Sergeant Dawson. Yours is a most welcome present here at the Camp Frog. Logistically speaking, we are ready to march to the Castrum at the moment's notice. Alas, while our troops are here in body, their minds are else, uh, anywhere but. Oh man. The garrison's mood is dark. So daunting is the prospect of joining what may prove to be the bloodiest battle in history. But with our heroes such as you walking amongst them, we may yet rekindle the dwelling embers within their soul. Yeah, you can salute all you want, mate. Fuck me. Hey. Yeah, I also need to eat. Oh my god, like it's 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 over one. I haven't eat. I haven't ate. I did. I, I forgot to eat. Uh, anything online? Milan is online. And, uh, we're getting close to fifty members, which is great. So, anyways, guys. Uh, that, that's it for me today. I will be back doing the MSQ Monday, uh, roughly around this time, maybe an hour later. And we will finish A Realm of Born. We will start with the post stuff, but also start to do more dailies. We will unlock a lot of dungeons. Uh, some hard dungeons, some other dungeons. We have a lot of story missions done. With this new daily that we'll get. Uh, the uh, campaign mission, I think it's called. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to start doing all of those. Because I love this gear. But uh, we could get up to, I think, 130. This is very close, though. My god, that is so close. Absolutely brilliant. So, thank you. Eating is for the weak. No, eating is for the hungry. That's how it goes. So if you've been enjoying this, don't forget to give me a follow. So you'll be notified when I go live next time. Because I don't have a schedule. <laughs> I don't. I work in shifts. Okay? So I have day, week, uh, nights, whatever you say. And with all of that, have a great day. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, anyone know who we could raid? Any raid targets? Anyone who watches someone sometimes playing this game? Because then we can actually raid that person. I mean to start doing that. I don't have anyone. So give me, if you drop a name in 30 seconds, if I don't get one, then yeah, it's fine. You, you, you will all sprout our own way. <laughs>